Hello. In this video, I will show you how to use the asset transition blocks with the asset playmaker. Uh, so I've got two levels, level one and level two. And you can see they've got different number and different color in them. Uh, I'm also going to go to the build settings and make sure that they're both added in here. And now I'm going to import Playmaker and Transition Blocks. And I'm going to speed that up. All right, so I've got Transition Blocks and Playmaker imported into my scene, or into, into my project now. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is, in my level here, I want to take one of my transitioners and add it. So uh, there's another video I'll link that, that runs you through all of the settings here, but basically um, you can customize the how the transition works using uh, using this script. And I want to make it so we can transition using this to the other scene. So what I'm going to do is uh, open up the Playmaker Editor. And let's say... I'm going to make a game object that helps us change the level. So I'm going to add, add a state machine. And let's see, this first state here will be idle. And I want to add a state that transitions to level 2. So. Uh, So we need some events. So uh, I'm going to make a oop, hit space event. So I'm going to make it so that when we hit space from this scene, it's going to use the transitioner to transition to level two. So I'm going to hook that up like that. And in this state, I'm going to go to the Action Browser. And you'll see that uh, now that I've got transition blocks in my project and Playmaker in my project, that the transition blocks um, actions will show up in here. So I want to load the level based on its name. So I double click to add that. And we want to transition to level two. So you can see down here we got it named level two. Uh, so the way this script, or the way this action works is uh, it, it's going to find a transitioner in the scene and use that to transition to the level you have specified here. Uh, we don't need to hook this script or this action up to that script at all. All it requires is that in, in the scene there is a transitioner. So we, we moved that in earlier, and uh, so now um, I want to make an action in here. Input, get button down, no, get key down. So when space is pressed, send the hit space result or event, and we're going to transition to level two. So let's hit play and see how this works. So uh, that transition in that we just saw um, happened because we have this automatically transition in variable set. Uh, and that'll play the animation when we enter this scene. So now let's hit space. And we've transitioned to level two. 
so a couple things to note. Um, the transitioner has, uh, you can tell it whether or not to don't, don't destroy on load. And that basically means that um, if you have this checked, uh, it's going to follow you from this scene to every other scene. Uh, so you only need to put it into one scene. You can put it into multiples, but it, when, when it detects that there's multiples, it just deletes uh, the extras. Uh, if you uncheck it, then you're going to need a transitioner in each scene uh, that you want to transition out of. Uh, so as you can see, like if we go to scene two, we haven't set a transitioner in there, uh, so we can't exit out of it. So let's do that. Uh, so I can show you again. So we'll create a game object, uh, call it change level, and in here, we'll add a state. So this one will be idle. And when we press space, uh, we want an event. So we're gonna do a hit space event again. Um, we wanna uh, send out a hit space event. And we wanna connect that to state two. So in state two, uh, this time, let's try, uh, so if we go to level, this is where my actions are, we're going to transition back to the first level using its number. Uh, so to find that, we go to build settings, and you'll see that your scenes in the build uh, have a number over here. So level one is number zero, level two is number one. So I want to transition back to le uh, level one, which is number zero. All right, so that's all set up. The one thing we're missing is a transitioner in here. So again, we need to go to uh, transition blocks. Um, in prefabs, there's examples. Uh, pick any one of them, and you can go through and set it up any, any way you want. And now we should be able to transition out of this one too by hitting space. There we go. And if we hit space again. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you use Playmaker and transition blocks together. If you've got any questions about how that works, uh, feel free to email me, uh, message me on Twitter. I'll, I'll leave my email, Twitter handle, all that information in the comments. Um, if you have any feature requests, any bug reports, please let me know. I, I do my best to stay on top of those and fix everything I can. Thank you very much.